So today we'll be looking at how I created this LED panel which makes use of LED matrix inside it. Now we will be controlling this using Home Assistant such that we can send custom text to this device. Now this device is entirely powered by just using this power bank. So let's get started. So I started off first by taking the measurements of the panel and then creating a 3D model of it. So in this 3D model, I created 80mm by 80mm squares such that the LEDs of the panel can fit inside it. I then split the case into two halves such that I can print them. Now after printing the two panels, I joined them using epoxy resin and kept it overnight. Then the next day, I took the LED panel and placed it inside it and used hot glue to stick them properly inside it. Now to control this panel, we'll be making use of a D1 Mini and we will connect the input cables to this and then finally hot glue this D1 Mini to the panel. And then I make sure that the USB-C cable can connect to the D1 Mini. Finally, I close this entire case with these two plates that I have printed and then we have this device which is completely intact and now we can program this LED matrix. So now I have connected this device to my laptop and we are going to install WLED on it. So you need to go to this install.wled.me and then click on install here and then you are going to select the USB port with which you have connected this D1 mini to your laptop. So I am going to select this and then here it's going to ask you to install WLED. So let's click on this and then I'm going to click on install. So now this will install WLED for us. So let's give it some time. So now WLED is now installed. We're going to click on next here and then we are going to provide Wi-Fi credentials. Now once the Wi-Fi credentials are configured, I'm going to add it to Home Assistant. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on open link. So now this will add WLED directly into your Home Assistant. So I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to click on this. This is going to be called as WLED in Home Assistant. Let me click on finish and then let's go ahead and look at our WLED integration. So it's also showing that it's auto discovered, but we have added it here right now. So if you see right now, if I turn off this button, it will turn off the LEDs from this board right now. So let me turn this off. And now what we are going to do, we have right now connected this board to Home Assistant, but we need to configure some settings inside WLED such that it can take full advantage of this 8x32 LEDs. So for this, you're going to click on this visit device and this will open the IP address with which this device is connected to your Wi-Fi network. So now what we are going to do here, first of all, I'm going to turn this on so that we can see this and then I'm going to click on configure and then we are going to configure two things. One is that we are going to set up the amount of power that this board will consume for all the LEDs and then we are going to configure the two dimensions for this LED board. So let's do the LED preference first and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 2000 milliampers. So it will draw like two amperes from your power adapter. I think most of the standard power adapters can supply like two amperes. So I think this is pretty good. So next what we are going to do is we are going to set the length here to 256. Why 256? Because it's eight LEDs on the height and 32 LEDs as the width. Eight into 32 is 256. And then I'm going to click on save. So first thing that you see is that all the LEDs are now glowing right now. So now what we need to do is we need to configure the 2D dimensions. So for this, let's go here and then we are going to change this from 1D strip to 2D. Now, before you change this, go back and we are going to figure out what configuration of these LEDs are. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Android. And this will actually show you the direction of how this LED is working. So it's showing like this serpentine mechanism starting from this corner and it's going down. So this will tell you what configuration you need to set. So remember that right now it's going from up to down as you can see here and we are going to make use of this. So let's go to the config settings and then I'm going to go to 2D configuration and then I'm going to click on 2D matrix. Now you have a bunch of things here. So first thing what we're going to do is we are going to say that here, yeah, the first LED is on the top left and we are going to specify that the width is 32 and the height is 8. That is width by height. 
So now you see this, but if you see these lines, these lines are like horizontal here, right? So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on serpentine and then here it's going to show that the direction of the LEDs are in this manner. But this is not how we had seen in the Android fashion, right? So what you are going to do is you're going to change this to vertical. So if you see here, this is the same direction as we saw when we enabled the Android preset. So the LED flow is going to be from this way in a serpentine mechanism. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and save this and go back. Now to test this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for text and I'm going to select scrolling text. So now with this configuration, it will show you the date and the time on this LED matrix. So if it's showing the text properly, that means you have configured it properly. Now there are various options that you can set here. Like you can set the speed effect, you can reduce it or you can increase it. And a lot of things like the font size, you can introduce trailing. A lot of these options are present here. So now what we are going to do right now is we are going to see how we can make Home Assistant set some text on this WLED matrix. So for this, what we are going to do is we are going to go back to Home Assistant and then I'm going to go to my config section. So and here I'm going to add a REST command. So a REST command is a way to send some information to this WLED board using HTTP. So I'm going to add this. Now this REST command which is there, I will provide it in the article that I will link into the description below. So here, let me explain you the various things. So first of all, here you need to specify the exact IP address with which this WLED matrix is connected to the Wi-Fi. So if you see, this is the same IP address that I'm pasting here. The remaining, you need to use this such that we can set some state inside this WLED board. Now, along with this, I'm going to set some brightness and I'm going to set some text also. And then I'm going to save this configuration and we are going to restart Home Assistant. So you will need to restart it for the first time because I'm adding a new command. So let me go ahead and restart Home Assistant. So now Home Assistant has restarted and we are going to create a simple automation. So let's go to automation, create automation. And then in the trigger section, I'm going to introduce a timer pattern and I'm going to set the pattern such that it gets triggered every minute. So this is the pattern here. You can see it triggers every minute, every hour, and then we are going to add an action. In. So in the action section, I'm going to search for action that is perform action here. And here I'm going to search for that rest command. So rest underscore command. And if you see, there's a WLED text here. Now, let me go and open the configuration such that we can see this side by side. So now I have this configuration as well as this rest command side by side so that I can explain it to you all easier. So what we need to do is we need to provide the brightness because this is a variable here and the text here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this in YAML mode and then we have this data section. Now in this data section, I'm going to remove this curly braces. And then once you come to this next line here, I'm going to press a tab and then I'm going to specify brightness. So let me just copy this from here and I'm going to say the brightness is 50%. Uh, and then on the next line, I'm going to say some text. I'm going to put the text subscribe. Obviously, because right now I'm making a YouTube video. I hope you subscribe to this channel such that I can make such videos for all of you. So what I'm going to do right now is we set the brightness, we set the text and we are going to save this automation. So these are the only two variables that we wanted to set because these two variables are present inside this curly braces. So when you have this inside two curly braces, that's like a variable and then you can set some values for that variable. So now I'm going to save this as WLED automation and now I'm going to trigger this right now. So let's go ahead and run this. So if you see, it is right now increased the brightness as well as it has changed this text. So now this is the simplest way with which you can set some kind of text on this WLED matrix using Home Assistant. We are making use of this REST command which actually sends this text to this WLED wirelessly and then it can get set inside your matrix. So right now I have added only two of these options. But let me show you some advanced way through which you can add more options like you want to set the color, you might want to set even the font size. So let's look at that. So what I do is I go back to this WLED screen 
and here I'm going to open the developer settings. Either you can press the F12 button on your keyboard or you can go here on your Chrome browser, go to more tools and click on developer tools. Here. So once you click on this, you will get this view. So first thing what we are going to do is we are going to refresh this UI. And here we are going to select this WS, which is WebSocket and this double arrows. So I'm just going to click on it and this opens up this options here. So here we have this header and then we have messages. So now in this messages, first of all, I'm going to clear this and then let's try changing maybe the color. So let's change it to red. And if you see, it is actually sending some information. So here, if you see, it is right now showing COL, which is kind of indicating color. So I'm going to copy this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my home assistant and in my rest command inside the segment. Why? Because here this is present inside the segment. So I'm going to change that also inside the segment. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to put a comma here. Now, if you want to validate if this entire JSON is valid, what you can do is copy this entire thing and open something called as a JSON lint. Now in this JSON lint, you can validate your JSON and I'm going to now validate this JSON. So if this JSON is valid, then whatever you have put inside this in the payload section, it is all valid. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to save this and I'm going to now reload Home Assistant. You don't need to restart Home Assistant. You just need to reload Home Assistant. After reloading, these changes will take into effect. That means right now the color which was previously blue is right now red because the automation is actually setting this automatically for this. So every minute it's going to call this rest command to update the text as well as going to update the color for this. Now, how can I make this color option more dynamic? So let's go and modify this rest command. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my file editor. And then here in this column section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this entire value. And then I'm going to put two opening curly braces and two closing curly braces. And inside this, I'm going to specify a variable called as color. And then I'm going to go back to my automation and I'm going to paste this in. But now we need to specify the color, right? Because we have created a variable, we have to specify a color. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to WLED and I'm going to first of all clear this. So let me clear all of this. And this time let's choose a different color. So I'm going to select blue here. And here in this call section, we have this value for the blue color. So I'm going to copy this. Just make sure that you copy the brackets properly. That is two opening brackets and two closing brackets here, not the curly brace. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to go back to my automation. And here I'm going to open double quotes, paste the value and close the double quotes. And with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. But now this will not take into effect until you save the configurations that we had just updated. So we set this color here. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to reload Home Assistant. So I'm going to just do a quick reload here. After this reload gets completed, I'm going to go back and trigger my automation. So let me run this right now. And if you see, we just right now changed it to a dynamic color. Let's try another color. Maybe for example, this pink color right now, I'm going to copy this value from here, go to home assistant, paste this here and save it. Before we trigger the automation, let's change this to green and let's run this automation. So if you see right now, it has changed to pink. So this is the way you can figure out various options or various properties that you can set through home assistant. And you can customize and also make this really dynamic and you can change a lot of properties inside this. Now I will provide the first rest command that I had pasted. That is this one. That is let's go to the configuration here and I will provide you the initial rest command. Now I have already created one of these rest commands, which has a lot of these configuration options and you can just directly use them. So let me show you that first. So let me go to this configurations here. And then I have this WLED text advanced and it has the options for brightness, for freezing the text such that the text does not scroll 
the scroll speed if you want to set some kind of a scroll speed at which the text scrolls around and then we can have the color as well as the text here okay so i will provide both these commands the initial command as well as this advanced text command in the article that i will link it to the description below so you can copy it and just paste it and use so this is the way through which we can customize what is displayed on a WLED matrix board and you can figure out the various options by inspecting what is actually being sent from this UI by opening this developer tools option. So this may be a little bit more advanced but in case if you missed out something you can just go back and try to follow the steps again and I hope it solves your problem. Also let me know into the comments below in case if you like this automation and this way of customizing your WLED matrix board. Now links to all the components as well as the STL file to create the case is present in the article that I will link into the description below. Now I keep on making videos around how you can make things smart at home. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Now if you want to support this channel, there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.